Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Ultimate Infinity One. This one was shipped by Dita Moda, which actually means fashionable in a different language, which is pretty cool. Their website that sells, sells a bunch of different brands. They sell Atawak, they sell Ulto 8, and another wooden watch brand, uh, which is actually pretty cool. I will drop all their information down in the uh, description below, so you can check them out after this video. Um, they also are doing a giveaway, and I will leave that information down in the description below on their Instagram. You can check them out for a giveaway for the holiday season. Anyway, the Ultimate Infinity One comes in this pretty classic green box, so you can see it to the best time. And here is the watch in front of you. It actually comes with the band off of it, and then it comes with the little um, slot where the actual head of the watch goes in, which is pretty cool. Anyway, this is the Ulto 8 Infinity One version, as you can see here with the blue variant. There are six different variants. Right now they're on sale for $412.50 from Dita Moda, which is actually a pretty good deal, uh, considering the actual retail price of Ulto 8. And yeah, um, anyway, this is the Infinity One. Also, there's free worldwide shipping from Dita Moda, which is not bad. Anyway, getting right into the watch. Now, Ulto 8 was founded in 2020. Uh, they produce a lot of interesting watches. They're very custom, their watches. They make custom movements as well. Their watches are always very different. And, you know, they use a lot, they utilize a lot of different, you know, dials and different ways of telling time. As you can see here, you get a kind of scale here of the hours and the minutes posted at the 12 o'clock position. So you can read the time this way, which is actually pretty cool. Very easy to use. And in my uh, experience, they're actually pretty well-built watches. I mean, this is a solid 316L stainless steel brushed case. We get a pull and push crown with 50 meters of water resistance. As you can see, three lines of uh, polishing going around the circular case here with a pair of 22 millimeter lugs over here. The case itself is 46 millimeters in terms of actual diameter. In terms of case thickness, we're looking at about 13.5 millimeters from top to bottom. That is including that single domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. It's a circular sapphire, very circular as you can see here. Uh, it mainly is a mostly dial watch. Um, so definitely take that into perspective. The, wear, the watch will wear a bit smaller than 46 millimeters. Um, but yeah, inside of this watch, we're using the Miyota 8215, which has 21 joules. And what's very interesting is the way they set up this movement. So it's obviously customized the movement. As you can see, we get zero through 60 on the top, which is your minutes. Then we get your hours over here. Self-winding in the first position. We pull all the way out. As you can see, there is no hacking on this movement. This is the seconds wheel over here, and this is your hours and then minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and set this over here. This is all fully loomed as well, which is actually pretty cool. Now it's coming up to 3. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and set it at 335 here. So you can see 3 and then 35. Push that back down, and you're all good to go. Very easy to use, very easy to read. No issues there. The watch itself does come on this genuine leather tan color band here, uh, which does have quick release. We also do get an exhibition case back on here with a custom Ulto 8 rotor, all brushed case backs and basic specifications, Sapphire 50 meters, Infinity, which is the name of this model. Um, but yeah, the finishing looks really good. Like I've stated in some of my other videos, the finishing on their watches is always very good. I would not genuinely call them a micro brand. I would call them more of an established brand or a watch producer. Uh, their watches are very, you know, I would, I would say a bit higher end than a standard micro brand watch, in my honest opinion there. And this blue dial is really quite stunning. As you can see here, a nice deep shade of blue, depends how the light hits it here. You can see that anti-reflective coating, uh, which is not bad there. But yeah, a very interesting watch, interesting way to tell time. Obviously a conversation starter, something that's going to, uh, you know, Start a conversation, I guess. Um, someone's going to be like, you know, what kind of brand is that? What watch is that? Because obviously, this thing right here looks much different than a standard, you know, three-hand watch. Anyway, the watch does come with an extra band itself, which I will show you, which came in the box. This comes with an extra blue band here. It's kind of like a embossed band, uh, which is always nice. Quick release as well. Genuine leather with a bluish color. And there is your Ulto 8 hang tag. Now, in case something happens to your actual Ulto 8 watch, this does come with a two-year international warranty, which is honored by Dita Moda, uh, if you didn't know that. But yeah, other than that, um, I think it's a really cool-looking watch. Great finishing. Everything is pretty much up to par. Nice signed brush buckle on this band here. Good quality bands. And yeah, um, I think it's a pretty cool-looking watch. Now, there is some loom on this watch I want to show you. Um, let's get right into that, guys. And as you can see, the loom is actually really good. Check out that second subdial rotating, that hour hand, the minute hand. 
all the hours, 0 through 12, and all the minutes are loomed as well. That looks really, really good. As you can see, that I believe that is BGW9 blue loom, and then you get C3 on the second sub dial, which you can see rotating in the dark. Really good job on the loom. I did go ahead and throw this watch on a rubber band just to show you, you know, a little tighter to my wrist. They also do sell floral rubber bands for these Ultra 8 watches on their website, which are about $50 in a bunch of different color variants. I just found this gray to really match this watch perfectly. As you can see there, it really doesn't wear that big on my wrist. My wrist is 6.5 inches, and this thing comes across just perfectly. It's not going over the edges. You can see from a side profile, it's pretty thin there. Uh, very legible from all angles there. I think it has a pretty cool kind of futuristic look there. Um, I think that, you know, did a great job. It fits very flat and comfortable on the wrist. Obviously, this can be dressed up and dressed down as you please. So furthermore, guys, I think this Ultimate Infinity One's a really cool watch. Ultimate always, you know, produces interesting watches. There's no doubt about that. And then, you know, for a price of about 400 US dollars, I don't think you're going to find something, you know, as complicated, I would say, as this. Um, you get that interesting way to read the time. You get a customized movement, which is automatic, sapphire crystal, two bands with the watch, a two-year international warranty, and all, all around a very good finished and cut case as well. Um, everything is really nice on these watches. Definitely check out Dita Mode. I will drop a link down to them in the description below so you can check them out after this video. But all in all, I didn't find any quality control issues or anything with that. Shipping was fast. Everything was good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews coming at you with the Ultra Late Automatic Infinity, uh, which is a pretty cool watch, guys. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.